The first scripture tonight is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter number 54, verse number 15. Isaiah chapter number 54, verse number 17, sorry. Isaiah 54, verse 17. We need to pray this prayer. We need to pray these scriptures because God has ministered it to me tonight that I should start the first day of the month of June with this prayer. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, verse 17, it says here, it is written, no weapon formed and fashioned against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteous is of me, said the Lord. Beloved, I needed to start this prayer, this particular prayer, and you are going to pray that I destroy every weapon of Satan, every satanic weapon formed against me spiritually, physically. I destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Tonight, God has promised to turn somebody's life around. He has promised to deliver somebody from that shackle. He has promised to take you to a different level. Open your mouth and pray tonight. I destroy every weapon of darkness, every satanic weapon fashioned against me spiritually, physically tonight. I condemn them and I pray, oh Lord my God, they will not come into my life anymore. Oh, somebody pray. I condemn and I seal forever every tongue that intend to rise against me in judgment. Tonight I seal them off in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. I decree, declare every satanic voice, every evil dog, every satanic agent backing against my destiny. I silence them tonight in the name of Jesus. You got to silence them tonight. You have to open your mouth to pray. You know what you need to silence them. You know who you need to silence. Every promise and veil in your life must be silenced. Every satanic weapon fashioned against your life must go back to the sender. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Something got to change in your life. If you can believe in these prayers, the Lord said he will back it up with testimony money. So you want to destroy every weapon of darkness from the fashion against you physically and spiritually tonight. You condemn and you seal forever every tongue that intend to rise up against you at your work concerning your application in your marriage, in your education. You need to silence those voices that want to speak negativity into your life. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Something got to change. Somebody's life got to receive positivity. Somebody have to be free from shame. You have to pray. Every satanic weapon of promise and fail, every weapon of sickness, every weapon of sorrow, I cast it out tonight. Every weapon of sickness upon members of my family, upon my life, tonight I cast it out. Every satanic voice that want to speak against my destiny, I silence them tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, I silence them, every evil conspiracy from my family, around my family, in my environment, that want to speak against my life, against my joy, they shall be silenced tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, I decree, declare by the power that is in the word of God that I will prosper in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Tonight I decree, declare every voice speaking against your destiny shall be silenced tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree, declare every satanic weapon, every satanic agent, anything that they want to use to isolate you, it shall go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Prayer point number two is taken from Psalm 105, verse number 15. Psalm 105, verse number 15. The Bible says in Psalm 105, verse number 15, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You listening to me on this prayer line, you are God's anointed. You are chosen, you are bought at a price, you are special before God, you are carrying something in your life, you are anointed. So let no one deceive you in that area. But I need you to pray tonight and you are going to confess I am covered by the precious blood of Jesus. Satan, you cannot touch me. Satan, I am anointed. You cannot touch me. My life is assured in the hand of Jesus Christ. His seal is upon me. I have the emblem of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and decree, declare, oh Satan, you cannot come near me because I am anointed. You cannot come near my family because 
the anointed. Satan needs to hear you declare it. You need to declare it so that Satan can hear. Oh, Satan, I am a child of God. I am a child of destiny. I am a child of God. You don't have power. You don't have power to come near me. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. Hmm. Open your mouth and pray. Satan, you have no power. You have no power over me. You have no authority over me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Satan, you cannot come near my dwelling. You cannot come near my family. I am untouchable. I am uncatchable. You have no power. You have no authority over me. I confess that I am a child of God. I am anointed. I, my life is assured. In the hand of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, his seal is upon my life. I have the emblem of our Lord Jesus Christ upon me. Open your mouth and let him know. Let Satan know your declaration. Let him know you know your right. Let him know that you know what you're talking about. Oh, Satan, I am untouchable. My family are untouchable. My household are untouchable. Open your mouth and decree, declare today is the first day of the month of June. You have to make those declarations. You have to let Satan know that he cannot come near you. You have to confess that yes, you are a child of God. You are an anointed child of God and Satan cannot come near you, it cannot bring failure to you, it cannot bring sorrow to you, it cannot bring promise and fail to you. Tonight, you gotta decree, declare, Oh, I am a child of God, my story is changing, I am moving forward, I am not going backwards anymore. I now know my prayer point, I know my prayer line, I confess that Jesus is Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, every satanic agent, they will not come near my family. They will not come near my life. They will not come near my children. I decree, declare tonight as a son of God, as a daughter of Zion, that I am anointed. I am anointed. I am anointed. I am covered by the precious blood of Jesus. Satan, you cannot touch me because I am anointed child of God. My life is assured. My life is assured. You cannot destroy my life because my life is assured. My is the seal of God is upon me. The emblem of Jesus Christ lies upon my life. So therefore, Satan, I am untouchable. I am uncatchable. You cannot come near me. Open your mouth and decree, declare. Open your mouth and pray. You are on the prayer line. You got to pray. Something change when you pray. Something happen when you pray. The Bible says in Matthew 21, 22, whatsoever thing that you shall ask in prayer, believe it, it shall happen. You shall get it. Open your mouth and pray. It is settled for me. So shall it be in Jesus name we have prayed now follow me quickly to Philippians 4 verse number 13 Philippians chapter number 4 verse number 13 the Bible says in Philippians 4 verse number 13 it is written I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me many of you might know that scripture but you have not prayed that scripture you have not knelt down to pray that scripture all you know about the scripture is that you have had people say the scripture but you have not personally addressed the scripture so don't say oh evangelist I know that scripture it is familiar to my ears it can be familiar to your ears but if you have not prayed it if you have not tested it then you don't know the strength of that scripture i have tested it and god has sent me to bring it out to you so that you can now encounter that success that joy that is in that scripture so therefore i want you to pray tonight god of glory i can do all things through jesus christ your son who strengthens me god almighty i decree declare tonight that i can do all things through your son Son that straightens me. He has died for me on the cross, so therefore I can occupy my seat of honor. I can prosper. I can go forward. I can achieve my aim in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, I confess tonight I can do all things. I can prosper. I can get a job. I can get my papers. I can get married. I can have children. There is no limitation upon my life. I can do all things. The Bible says all things. It didn't say some things. It says all things. So open your mouth and decree, declare, oh, I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do every possible things through Jesus Christ that strengthened me. In the name of Jesus, I can receive any award. I can do anything. I can get any job. I can go to anywhere because Christ is with me. He has strengthened me. So therefore, satanic agent cannot weaken me. 
open your mouth and decree and declare. Today is the first day of the month of June. You got to pray. You can do all things. You can do everything. The Bible does not say something. Oh, I want to do all things. I want to have a job. I want to have my freedom. I want to have my healing. I want to have a good home. I want to have a good car. Why not? You can get it. You can achieve it. Through Christ that strengthens you. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, somebody pray, 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 pray. Hmm. You can do better with your prayer. You can do better with your prayer. You can do better with your prayer. I can do all things. My children can do all things. My family can do all things in the name of Jesus. I, I decree, declare all things we can do. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I am praying for you tonight that you shall do everything that you desire in the name of Jesus I decree, declare that God Almighty will straighten you. Everything that you lay your hands on shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am praying for you right now that God in heaven, he will turn your situation around. He will open door for you. And that which you are desiring, you shall achieve it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now hear this. Satan we want to draw battle. Satan we want to bring his ugly head into your heart, into your face. But you have to use God's words against Satan. You have to use the word of God to stand against Satan. So therefore I want us to look at Zechariah chapter 4, Zechariah chapter 4 verse number 6. Zechariah chapter 4 verse number 6. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, Nor by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord, but by the Spirit of the Lord, by, by the Spirit says the Lord of all. He says, Not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit says the Lord of all. God said it is by His Spirit. So therefore you got to confess tonight, Heavenly Father, the battle is not mine, but the battle is yours. The battle is yours. Yours, oh Lord, as a result of you, you shall fight this battle for me and you shall overcome. The battle is not yours, so don't worry about it. All you got to do is talk to God. Jehovah Nissi, this battle is not mine, it is yours. Come and fight your battle. Open your mouth and pray. What is that battle that you are facing in your life? It is not for you. It is of the Lord. The battle in your marriage is of the Lord. The battle for your papers is of the Lord. The battle for a new job is of the Lord. The battle for your pregnancy is of the Lord. It is not your battle because you are born at a price. You are anointed. You are a child of God. So therefore, open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jehovah Nancy, Jehovah Rapha, I can smell something coming, but that smell of battle is not my battle. It is your battle, oh Lord. I decree, declare, oh Lord, tonight that the battle is of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. The battle is of the Lord. The battle is not my battle. The battle is not my battle. Oh, the battle is not my battle. The battle is of the Lord. Open your mouth and decree, declare tonight. The battle is not my battle. It is not my battle. It is not my battle. Hmm. The battle is of the Lord. The battle is of the Lord. The battle of childbearing is of the Lord. The battle of childbearing is of the Lord. The battle of my papers is of the Lord. The battle of my getting a job is of the Lord. It is not my battle because Jehovah Nissi promised me that I can do all things. I have applied for a job. So therefore, Satan, you cannot delay me. Delay is not my portion. Anything that you throw at me, it is God that will fight my battle. The battle is of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, I don't know what battle you are talking about. Are you going through some marital challenge right now? You got to open your mouth and decree, declare. Oh, the marital battle I am praising is not my battle. It is of the Lord. The waiting for the fruit of the womb that I am waiting for. It is not my battle. It is of the Lord. Oh, Jehovah Nisi will fight this battle. The battle is for him. He says that it is his battle. It is not your battle. So you got to pray. It is not by might, but by power. But by my spirit. 
spirit says the Lord, Lord, send your spirit to fight this battle. Send your spirit to chase away this storm. Send your spirit to send away this affliction. Send your spirit to send away this sickness. In the name of Jesus, I decree, declare tonight, I believe in my prayers and I know my story is changing. I know I am going forward. Open your mouth and make that declaration. You got to make that confession. If you want God to open your case, if you want God to attend to your situation, you got to decree with authority. You got to say it as if you meant it. You got to say it as if your life depend on it. Oh, Jehovah Nissi, the battle is of the Lord. The battle is of the Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As you have prayed tonight, God shall fight his battle in the name of Jesus. Everything and anything that is coming to come and disturb you, it is not your battle because it is the Lord's battle and the Lord shall fight his battle and you shall have peace in the name of Jesus. Any power of darkness that says in this month of June that you will not have peace, God Almighty will destroy them. God will wipe them off the face of the earth in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Some people will say to me, Evangelist, you don't understand. There are some things that is still going on in my life. I am still down with sickness. I am still down with pain. Yes, you have said that the battle is of the Lord, but how come God is not fighting this battle? How come I have not got my papers yet? How come I am not yet married? Oh, beloved. Put your mind at peace. How do I know? The Bible tells me in Luke chapter 1, verse number 37. Open your Bible with me to Luke chapter number 1, verse number 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Oh, beloved, you got to look at that scripture. Where after this prayer line, you have to open your Bible and receive that faith, that strength, that confidence, that boldness, that power that you need to make a declaration. He says, nothing shall be impossible for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So therefore, God, you are with me. So nothing shall be impossible. Open your mouth and decree, declare. What is it that looks like it is not possible? Open your mouth and decree, declare, oh, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. He is the creator of heaven and earth. There is nothing that he doesn't know. There is nothing strange to him. He knows about everything I am going through. So therefore, Jehovah Nisi, nothing shall be impossible. This sickness is something that you can do. My application is something that you can do. My marital life is something that you can do. Everything I am crying for to is something that you can do. I use this medium of this prayer to call upon you, Jehovah Nisi, that you attend to my case. I confess that you are Lord. I decree, declare, O oh Lord, that nothing shall be impossible and nothing is impossible. Open your mouth and pray. It doesn't matter how old you are that you are not yet married. It doesn't matter how old you are that you don't have a child yet. I say with God, all things are possible. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Mm, pray, pray, pray. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Pray, 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 pray. Mm, mm, mm. With God, all things are possible. Mm. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. With God, all things are possible. Everything I'm going through is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Open your mouth and pray. Mm. It is possible, 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 it is possible. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Everything that you desire, God Almighty will do it for you in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare every concern in your life shall turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. I am praying for you that everything that looks on paper as if it is difficult, I say before the Lord it is easy and God shall give you a divine testimony in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I can hear God telling me to tell you that rejection is not your portion. I can hear God saying, tell them rejection is not their portion. Mm. Failure is not your portion. 
Sorrow is not your portion in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Matthew 16, 19. The Bible says something in Matthew 16, 19. Mm. The Bible says something in this Matthew 16, 19. Follow me to Matthew 16, 19. It says, I will give you the key of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. You now receive your keys in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive my keys to open all doors of impossibility. I receive my key to open all doors of impossibility. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I receive my key. Hmm. To open all doors of impossibility. I now receive my keys of the kingdom of heaven. To open all doors of impossibility. Every door that seems impossible to open on earth. I receive my divine key from heaven. To open all doors of impossibility. Anything I shall bind now shall be bound forever. And anything I shall lose now shall be loosed forever. Open your mouth and ask for your divine key from heaven. That key Key is not on earth. That key that can that need to open that door is not on earth. That key is from heaven, and God will give you that key. That key will come into your mouth, and God will put that key in your mouth so that when you shall speak a word, that door that seems to be locked, it shall be open. When you shall speak to the womb, that womb shall be open. When you shall speak to that application, that application that looks like it is forgotten, it shall be remembered. How do you get the key by praying? You got to pray, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, I now receive the keys of the kingdom of heaven to open all doors of impossibility. Anything I shall bind now shall be bound forever, and anything I shall lose now shall be loose forever. I receive my divine key tonight. I receive my key of possibility. I receive my key of approval. I receive my key of promotion. I receive my key of healing. I receive my key of deliverance. If only you can believe you shall receive that key open your mouth and receive your key open your mouth and pray i decree declare tonight that as we are praying for this key that they put this key in our mouth put this key in our lips let us decree a thing and let it be established let me have the key of impossibility the key of impossibility i receive my key tonight in the name of jesus somebody pray you can do better with your prayer the lord is here there are many people that are praying right now at this time. Open your mouth and pray your own prayer. People are waiting for your testimony. That door that they have shut in your life, that they believe cannot be opened. The Bible says that God asked the servant, can these dry bones live? He said only God knows about it. So therefore, there is a door that seems to be impossible to be opened on earth. The only way you can open that door is by asking for the key from heaven. The Bible says, I will give you the keys. Of the kingdom of heaven. Once you have that key, you can open all doors on earth. Receive your key now. Receive your key now. Say, Lord, I receive my key. I receive my key of abundance. I receive my key of joy. I receive my key of good health. I receive my key of my application acceptance. I receive my key of financial breakthrough. I receive my key of ministerial breakthrough. Open your mouth and receive your key. Open your mouth and receive your key. Receive your key in the name of Jesus on this first day of June, receive your key. Receive your key. The key of impossibility. Receive that key to open those doors. Every door that seems to be shut, receive that key in the name of Jesus. Receive that key in the name of Jesus. Receive that key in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody pray. Mm, receive that key. Receive that key. Receive that key. Receive that key in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. 
As you have prayed to receive that key, some satanic agents will be saying, you cannot get that key. They will be saying, she will not get that key. He will not get that key. But don't worry. They are just backing for nothing. They cannot do anything. Every human being backing against your destiny, they shall be silenced in the name of Jesus. How do I know that they shall be silenced? Because the Bible tells me in Philippians chapter number 2 verse number 10. Philippians chapter chapter 2 verse 10 he says there that at the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. You gonna pray right now. I command every power of darkness to fall on their knees right now. They shall bow to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. They shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in the name of Jesus. Every man, every woman backing against my, my success, backing against my promotion, backing against my marriage, backing against my health, backing against my children's destiny destiny, backing against my career, I command them now to kneel down, to bow, to bow to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray somebody. We are in the prayer mood right now. Nobody must keep quiet. You got to pray right now. It is happening. It is happening. Something is happening. Somebody is getting freedom. Something is, somebody, something is coming out from somebody's life because every man, every woman that is backing against your joy, they they are now kneeling down at the mention of his name. Every name must bow. Every tongue must confess that he is Lord. Open your mouth and command them to kneel right now. Oh, I command every satanic agent, every household enemy, every immigration officer, everywhere they have my application on hold, I command them to bow right now. I command them to go on their knee right now. Open your mouth and command them. You have the power. You have the option to function. There's power in the tongue. There's power in your tongue. Exercise your authority. It is called believer's authority. Open your mouth and decree, declare, I am under a deep different anointing tonight. I am telling somebody, if you can join your faith with my faith, something is going to happen this week. Something is going to happen this week. Where they have said no to you, you will begin to say yes in the name of Jesus. Where you have been rejected, you shall be accepted. Where you have been condemned, you shall be redeemed. Open your mouth and decree, declare. Any man or any woman that says that I will not receive my joy, that says that I will not receive my testimony, they shall bow. They shall bow bow, they shall bow, because I decree, declare, they shall bow, according to the scripture, he says that, at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow, and that of things in heaven, and that of things in earth, I command them to bow right now, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and command them to bow, mm. in the name of Jesus, so shall it be, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. It is not yet over. We are still praying because there are some satanic agents. We call them some stubborn spirit. They don't give up easily. So therefore, we use the word of God against them. How do I know that? The Bible says something in Micah 9. Micah chapter 5 verse 9. Let us open our Bible to Micah. Micah chapter 5 verse 9. The Bible says in Micah 5 verse 9. It says, Thy hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. You got to raise your hand up anywhere you are right now and raise your hand to heaven. I lift up my hand right now upon my adversaries and all my ways. I cut off every enemy of my life. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I receive power. The Bible says that Moses lift up his hand and when his hand was lifted up, they were winning the battle. But when his hand came down, they were losing the battle. At this time, anywhere you are, if you are at work, tell 
tell your boss, I got to put my hand up right now. If you are driving, you got to park your car right now and lift your one of your hand up and say, I lift my hand up right now. And I decree, declare, I lift my hand up upon my adversaries. I lift my hand up upon satanic agent. I lift my hand up upon household enemy. As from today, I decree, declare, anyone that want to cut me off, I cut them off in the name of Jesus. Anyone that want to cut me off my marriage, I cut them off in the name of Jesus. Anyone that want to cut me off my application, I cut them off in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cut them off. Open your mouth and decree, declare, oh, wherever you are, you got to lift that hand. There is one of your hands that got to go up right now because it has to come down with the anointing. It has to come down with power. It has to come down with healing. It has to come down with testimony. Something got to change in somebody's life tonight. Tonight is tonight. Tonight is a night of freedom. Tonight is a night of testimony. Tonight every bondage is over. Every sorrow is over. So therefore lift your hand up right now and say I receive power. I receive power. Distance is not a barrier. Anywhere you are listening from. Either you are listening on YouTube. Lift your hand up. Either you are listening on Facebook. Lift your hand up. Either you are on the phone. Lift your hand up and receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power against your enemies right now. Receive power against death. Receive power against failure. Receive power against sorrow. Receive power against promise and fail. In the name of Jesus, it is settled for you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord Almighty has given you power. Receive the option to function tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare anywhere you are, receive that power in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hmm. There's something you have to pray about because there are some cloud, there are some satanic cloud that can be covering somebody's prayer line. How do I know? If you go to the book of Lamentation, you will see a servant of God. He was lamenting. He is a prophet of God. He was complaining because from verse 1 all the way to 44, he was lamenting. Look at Lamentation chapter 3 verse 44. Lamentation 3 verse 44 says something strange in there. There's something powerful that happened in that area. There's something strange that the prophet said to God. He says in Lamentation 3 verse number 4, for thou hast covered thyself with a cloud that our prayer should not pass through. He says something there to God. He said, how come my prayers are not going through? You said my prayers will not come back to me void. But how come I am praying and I'm not receiving testimony? How come I am praying? There's no confirmation. The Bible says something there in verse number 44. He says, well, you have covered yourself with a cloud that prayer should not pass through. You are going to pray. Holy God in heaven. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. Remove every cloud that is an hindrance to my prayers tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, oh Jehovah Nisi, remove every covering, every covering that is an hindrance or that is an hindrance to my prayers tonight. Remove every cloud. Remove every covering. Everything that is blocking my prayer or that intend to block my prayer tonight. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, I decree and I declare every covering that is hindering to my prayers that is an hindrance to my prayers. Remove them tonight in the name of Jesus because I believe that tonight is a night of divine release. It's a night of divine release. I shall remove, I shall remove every cloud that is covering, that is an hindrance to my prayer. Somebody pray that prayer. You got to pray that prayer. You have to pray that prayer because there are some clouds, there are some covering that can be covering somebody's prayer. You have to pray in the name of Jesus. I command remove mover of every hindrance that is blocking my prayer. Open your mouth and pray. I cannot hear you pray. Open your mouth and decree, declare. Oh, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every satanic cloud that is blocking my prayer, I remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. Every cloud that is blocking my application prayer, I remove those clouds in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, somebody pray. 
Somebody pray, remove that cloud, every dirty cloud, every hindrance cloud, every satanic covering that is blocking your prayer. Remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I say remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic cloud shall be moved away in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Oh, beloved, I decree, declare right now, every cloud that is blocking the pathway or the passage of your prayer tonight, I remove them in the name of Jesus. I say every cloud that is blocking the pipeline of your prayer, prayers from getting to the gate of heaven. I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Every sin that is blocking your prayer life, I ask that God will forgive you of that sin tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says he is a God of mercy. He says I will have mercy upon those that will have mercy upon. I say God shall show you mercy tonight in the name of Jesus. You will not pray amiss. You will not pray in vain. I say every satanic cloud will not cover your prayer line. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name. We have prayed. Oh don't be tired beloved. We got a couple of prayers more. We got just 10 more minutes to pray on this prayer line. But that 10 more minutes will be very very powerful. If somebody can pray away their shame. If you can pray away your sorrow. If you can pray away your, 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 your hindrance. If you can pray away your affliction. So you shall occupy your seat of honor in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Follow me to the book of Lamentation. We, let us go to chapter number 5, verse number 7. I like the book of Lamentation because many of us, we always lament. We lament, we lament. But we don't have to lament because we can pray to God. He is God. Lamentation chapter 5, verse number 7. Lamentation 5, verse 7. He says something there. Lamentation 5, verse number 7. Our fathers sin and are no more. But we bear the iniquities. Many of us are suffering as a result of what our fathers, our grandfathers, our great-grandfathers, they have done. Many of us are going through pain as a result of generational cause, heritage cause, foundational cause. Many of us are in limitation because of heros. Heros, heros, heros. I am telling somebody... Let me give you an example. I have a junior brother. He was born in Switzerland. And he went to our dad. He said, Daddy, where is my passport? Where is my birth certificate? My dad said he can't find it. That is a long time. So you can see what happened there. It's an error on his side. And this boy is suffering now because he was supposed to just go to his country of birth and claim his citizenship. There are many of us on this prayer line. There are some things that it is not our fault. There are some things that some people have done which has caused an error in our life. There are some people, there, there are some companies that are supposed to help you. But because some people from where you come from, they have destroyed that company, they don't want to favor you. But you shall receive favor in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray tonight. You are going to pray tonight. I remove every covering. You are, see, let me tell you something. Those fathers have put some covering that is blocking our breakthrough. But today it shall come out. You are going to pray and say, Lord, every sin and wickedness of my ancestors... Today, I wipe it away in the name of Jesus. I reject all their evil ways. I turn unto you for total cleansing. Open your mouth and say, God, cleanse me. Clean me, oh Lord. I am of a different generation. I am not from them. I am different. I want you to clean me, oh Lord. Give me a new heart. There is a son that says, create in me a new heart. Oh Lord, see you got to pray that prayer. You can even sing that song if you know that song. It says, "Create in me a new world, oh Lord, and renew Thy spirit within me." <clears throat> Call, please open that prayer and pray that prayer. Take not from me, oh Lord. Hmm. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Hmm. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Tell God to cleanse you clean. Father, according to your word, O Lord my God, I shall, Jesus Christ shall, he says what? He, I will bear no 
failure. I will bear no, nothing in the equity of the wicked. Jesus Christ has broke that cause for me. He has broke that cause for me. So therefore, I am totally free from every foundational bondage. Open your mouth and pray. Every forwarding cause. There are some cause that meet somebody in front. So tonight you will receive every forwarding curse against your life. Every forwarding curse I destroyed. Jesus Christ has taken, has broken all the curse. He has taken my pain. So therefore, every forwarding curse is not my portion. Every power of darkness that is waiting for me on my way to abundance, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, beloved. Oh, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, every hero of my ancestors. Us, every error of my generation, every error of my heritage, every error of my foundation, I reject it in the name of Jesus. It, I will not carry it forward. I say I will not carry it forward. I will not carry failure forward. It is not my portion. I will not carry negative baggage into this month in the name of Jesus. It is not my portion. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You cannot pray. I cannot hear you pray. Open your mouth and pray. I will not bring forward the negative baggage in the name of Jesus. I will not carry over a satanic curse. Every satanic curse that is waiting for me in front I reject them in the name of Jesus. I say I reject them in the name of Jesus. I reject them in the name of Jesus. I reject them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Let me try and give you two more prayer points so that we can finish on the dot. Follow me quickly to Psalm 143, verse number 7. Psalm 143, verse number 7. Psalm 143, verse number 7. Don't be tired. God Almighty will give you strength. Psalm 143, verse 7 says, Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit fail. Hide not thy face from me. Least I be like unto them that go down the pit. Hmm. You are going to pray because there is somebody on this prayer line. You are managing to pray on this prayer line because they have pushed you to the wall. They are, you are waiting for God to help you. You are at the last bus stop, but God says I should tell you that he will straighten you. You got to pray tonight and say, oh my God, hear me, oh Lord, come to my rescue for my enemies are about to laugh at me. Open your mouth and pray, oh Lord, hide not your face from me. My enemies are waiting to laugh at me. I pray tonight. My enemy will not laugh at me. Open your mouth and pray. Oh. My enemy will not laugh at me. My enemy will not laugh at me. My enemy will not laugh at me. In the name of Jesus. My enemy will not make me weep. They will not make me cry. Oh Lord, come to my rescue quickly. Oh Lord, come and rescue me quickly. Let me receive approval. Let me receive confirmation. Let me receive my healing. Let me receive a good job. Let my story change. Let my story change. In the name of Jesus. Let my story change. In the name of Jesus. Let my story change change in the name of Jesus. Let my story change in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Finally, I need you to pray for the presence of God. Without the presence of God, we have prayed for nothing. If you do not carry the presence of God, this prayer is not going to work. We got to pray for God's presence. Lord, this month of June, anywhere I go, let your presence go with me. Everything I do, let your presence do it for me. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, pray, beloved, pray for his presence. His presence is important. You need his presence. Pray, 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 pray. Mm. Oh, I need his presence in my life. I need his presence in my life. I need his presence in my life. Oh, Lord, let your presence be upon me. Hmm. Let your presence dwell with me. Let your presence be with me. In the name of Jesus, let your presence be with me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord's presence will go with you this month in the name of Jesus. As you have prayed this prayer, somebody shall receive good news this week in the name of Jesus. 
I say every household enemy, they have been defeated in the name of Jesus. The Lord will put a smile on your face once again this month in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they have said no to you, they will come and say yes with apology. Ah, I say anywhere you have been condemned, you shall be redeemed in the name of Jesus. As I've prayed for you tonight, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, please, if you want to listen to this prayer line again, it will be on my Facebook or on the website. The website is ChristHealingMinistry.com. ChristHealingMinistry.com. And I want to appreciate everyone of you. Thank you so much. I 